This is a walkthrough that will show you how to properly set up and configure the Team Explorer Everywhere command line client, otherwise called the TEE CLC or just the CLC. So I'm showing this on an Ubuntu machine, but the steps are similar in a Mac OS. So first, you want to make sure that you've got Java installed, uh, Java 8 version. And I'll go ahead and I'll check that there. It's very important that you've got um, one of the versions of Java 8 installed uh, previously before you install TEE. Um, because the CLC will require a uh, version of Java. Now I have already installed the TEE CLC to this folder here, TEE CLC 14.114.0 and you can go ahead and get that from our GitHub page here github.com Microsoft Team Explorer Everywhere slash releases. So if you go ahead and you just download the zip file and you extract it to a particular folder location um, you should be good to go with that. Okay, so back in the terminal now, um, what I can do is to make sure everything's up and running is I want to be able to run the TF script that's in TEE. So I could do, uh, do that by pro providing the full path and then run TF. And you see it's, uh, you can see all the options that the TF command line provides. In order to make sure I can connect to the server, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the workspaces command with a known collection. In this case, I'm using my 2015 server. And when I run this command, because I haven't accepted the TE EULA yet, I'm going to have to run that command first. What that command does is it will present me with the TEE EULA and then I'll have to read it and then agree with it. If you don't do this step, the VS Code extension that has TFVC support uh, will not work properly. So go ahead and press enter as you go through the entire agreement and to accept the terms just go ahead and hit, hit yes. And if you're not sure whether you accepted the EULA before, you can run the same command again. And it should indicate that you've already accepted the terms of this agreement. So then I'm going to go back and run my workspaces command again. And then at this point, it should ask me for my credentials. And these are the ones I'm going to use to connect to the server. So I went ahead and entered the credentials and it ran the command about the workspaces. So you can see that I don't have any workspaces yet on this particular machine. So now if I run this command again, it's, it's going to prompt me again for my credentials. So I'm going to type them in a second time. If I did that properly, I should get the same results back. Now in order to prevent that from happening, we can set this environment variable should be an all uppercase. This is TF underbar auto underbar save underbar credentials. Set that equal to one. And the next time I run the command, it will of course prompt me again. But every command I run afterwards, it should no longer prompt me. Perfect. So now, uh, after making all of those changes, I know the TEEs, uh, the CLC is all set up properly from the command line. So now I'm going to go over to VS Code and show the last thing that we need to do to set up the extension. Now VS Code is going to start here, and I've got the extension already installed. You can see it right here. It's version 116. What I need to do is go into the preferences, go in the settings, and then set the location to where I had uh, the CLC installed. To do that, I just set this location called tfvc.location. Of course, I'm going to double check that. So I just have to set that to 
home folder and if I can get this right from memory, so I'll see there's 14.114.0 and then I go ahead and I point it to the TF script which is the same script that I was running here. The TF script. CLC 14.114.0 CLC 14.114.0 TF and as soon as I save these settings that'll tell the extension where to find uh, the TF executable that needs to run in order to provide all the TFVC support. So that's the quick setup.